I don't want to miss it when I hit that high. Ooh. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back behind it, back it up, back it up. <sighs> okay, do it again. This time, don't get distracted. Driving in, driving in. Is that a penny? Do it again. All right, don't panic. Back it up. Don't panic. Don't panic. Ah! 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 I think that'll do it. So hi. And welcome back. Not much has changed. Although I can do this. <laughs> anyway, take a look at this anti-fireworks campaign from the 90s. What is it? You'll see. I want it! Do you know what that was? Fireworks. No. They're dangerous and illegal explosives. People have lost their homes that way. People I know. Yes, those kids would have been blown to tiny pieces if it wasn't for the Preventor. He's an anti-fireworks superhero who can appear anywhere, anytime. And he has the power to prevent danger all over the world. And yet instead, he decides to follow these four kids around all day. I wonder if he still does. After a while, it's going to get pretty annoying. No! Do you know what that was? It was my sandwich. No. That was a dangerous and illegal explosive. No, no. People have lost their homes to these. People that I know. No, it was my sandwich. Really? But... Ah. Yes, so it, so it is. Looks like a good one, though. What is, what is that? Cheese? Tuna. Tuna. Right, tuna. Yeah. I'm 43 now. I've got a wife and kids. Is there not somebody else that you need to save from fireworks? Well, to be honest, there's not really a lot of fireworks around at the moment. It's April. So, um, I'm actually looking for work. If you've got anything. Get to out. Right. I'll go. Forever. Goodbye, Johnny. Sorry about the sandwich. <laughs> Idiot. In other news, a dead hamster came back to life this week. She, we thought, was dead in the cage, and that is where we buried her, down in the hole there. It was a good service. The finger food was exceptional. But that wasn't the end of the story. And actually she dug herself out and into our recycling box and got into a cardboard box for comfort and warmth. And that was where I found her. So she's one very lucky little hamster. <laughs> he really is. Or oh, it's a zombie hamster. Run! Bring! Zombie hamster! All right there, little fella. Huh? What do you want? We thought you died. I did, but now I'm a zombie oh. hamster. What? Get off me. Bite your face off. So that's about it, except for my question of the week. Question of the week! Take a look at this girl at the dentist. The paparazzi cannot see me like this. They follow me everywhere. Are you a celebrity? I'm here my hair. Yes, this girl woke up at the dentist and thought that she was Hannah Montana. I mean, we've all been there. If I'm not Bill Cosby, then where did I get this sweater? Look, Mr. Johnson, you're not wearing a sweater. You're not actually wearing anything. We did try and stop you. Where did I get this sweater? My question is, if you were a dentist and you could make people think that they were somebody else, who would you pick? And who would you make them think that they are? I haven't really thought that one through. Well, <laughs> it is Friday. No, it's not. It's Monday. It is. <laughs> no! Captain Tomface, subscribe, mother flippers!